Hey guys, welcome to my first resin printing video. A couple of weeks ago Banggood asked me if I was interested in taking a look at one of the resin printers they offer. Having a lot of experience with FDM printers, I have been playing with the idea of getting a resin printer for quite some time, so I was really excited about the offer and said yes. They sent me the Sparkmaker DLP printer, which is an entry level resin printer with a fair price tag. In this video we will take a look at the contents of the box, discuss the basics of how the printer works, how to upgrade the firmware and how to calibrate it. DLP stands for Digital Light Processing. Using this technology the object is printed by exposing every layer for a certain amount of time to UV light, which hardens the exposed layer. The build plate is then moved up and the next layer is exposed. This is repeated until the object is finished. The great thing about DLP printers is that you can achieve a lot more detail than with FDM printers. The Sparkmaker's printing resolution is 100 micrometer in X and Y and 20 micrometer in Z. The print volume is 98 by 55 by 125 millimeter, significantly smaller than on any FDM printer. The package contains the resin printer itself, a UV blocking cover, the 24 volt power brick with a switch, a matching power cable for your region, a hex tool for maintenance and a short instruction manual. The first thing we are going to do is to upload the newest firmware to the printer. Go to the download section of the Sparkmaker site, find the firmware download, download it and extract the file to your SD card. Insert the SD card into your Sparkmaker and power it up. You should see the LED on the jog wheel turn blue for a couple of seconds and then switch to green. As soon as it switches to green, the flashing process is done. Do not forget to delete the firmware file from the SD card or the printer will be flashed every time you power it up. To calibrate the printer, loosen all four screws of the build plate. Make sure that the build plate moves freely. Turn the jog wheel to the right to move the build plate down. Turn it until the limiting switch is invoked and the build plate stops moving. Press down on the build plate and fasten the screws. Make sure they are tight. That is it, your printer is now calibrated. If you are interested in getting your own, check the links in the description. In my next video I will show you what else besides the printer itself you need for your first prints, how to prepare a STL for slicing, discuss the settings, printing and cleanup process. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it.